Church of San Juan. Let's split up. I'll look for signs of Lopez. We'll ask around, see what we can find out. My friend Sara's an archaeologist. She works near here. You want to go see if she knows anything about your riddle? That would be great. The stone faces have always been Sara's obsession. Most people come here looking for treasure, but not Sara. She just wants answers. Have you been friends a long time? Since we were kids. She was the nerd, I was always skipping school and stealing my grandma's RV. Once in a while, I could convince Sara to come with me. You... Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well... I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. If she's been tortured, I'll never forgive myself. Jonah's alive. He makes friends so easily. I probably would have walked here to the mission, but Jonah, he just asked Abby for a ride and she said yes. I hope we're in the right place and we can find the box before Trinity. The earthquake hit last night at the oil facility and now there's a volcano. Is this where the next cataclysm will hit? We have to end this before this town ends up like Cozumel. Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. Vine para crecer espiritualmente. Despacio, despacio. No revuelves el chile, se va a pegar a la olla. Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm... I'm not sure. 
A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? Vine para crecer espiritualmente y terminar de I don't have enough space for that. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. No contestes. This document outlines the goals and works of the Mission of St. John. In addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. <laughs> La hora más oscura es justo antes del amanecer. Ruego sea verdad, pues la oscuridad no Now, this is a fascinating concept. The Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion, and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. Te lo aseguro. Si se comprueba algo, así será. Pero no. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. Thirtieth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez has just returned from a nearby village, and with him came a group he says will follow him and help us with construction. There was something strange about his behavior. I attributed it to the long journey through the jungle. That night, however, he admitted what had been bothering him. They followed me, he whispered. The others. He walked off. 
I spent that sleepless night worrying about his deviations toward madness. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother, then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. I wonder how it ended up here. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. Twenty-fifth of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey, Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces.
under his wings you may seek refuge. Under his wings. And under his wings you may seek refuge. A heron and an eclipse. The door closed and a silence settled, so great and so vast I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room. Walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. Twenty-sixth of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah! This book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John. Son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the Beloved Disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the Three Epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, 
as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient, We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Tardaremos en realidades. ¿Cuántos años? Un paso a la vez. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. There's a whole mural under here. <clears throat> Veracruz, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> Thank you.
looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you ha have to use the light beam to follow the stations of the cross. somewhere. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station 3. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Hey, it worked. The light leads this way. The light activated something. Laura! Are you all right? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frascos. the light beam to follow the stations of the cross. It looks like he's accepting the cross here. There's a woman in this one. Someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. These people look like they were tortured. Hung up in the ceiling. I don't think this was just a crypt. Sacrilegious? Not necessarily. 
They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be Station 6. Have to use the light beam to follow the Stations of the Cross. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. They're carrying him. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with mummies? Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. They're lifting him. She's wiping his face, I think. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around when Lopez was. Inscription. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. Jesus, nailed to the cross. I think he's taking up the cross. He's carrying the cross. Jesus, nailed to the cross. He's carrying the cross. His disciple wall him in and then bang. No witnesses. The hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He 
led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. He was totally consumed by it. Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend, but he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to buy Titi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, 
Selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara? How many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Lara! Go! Stop him! Running past just now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. If there's any change in our status, he'll tell us. Spanish Jesuit missionary Andreas Lopez, a member of Trinity, was dispatched to find and retrieve the silver box of Eshel rumored to be in Paititi. Instead of bringing the box back to the Trinity High Council, he confessed the theft to his old friend, the Emperor Paititi, Sinchichika, Unaratu's ancestor. Together they entered into a plot to hide the box from Trinity. Lopez went west to Paititi and founded the mission of San Juan, leaving a path of clues stretching back to Cozumel for Sinchichica's descendants to follow when the time came. But while building the mission and the deadly crypts below, the box's power corrupted Lopez's mind. He came to believe that no one was worthy of the power of the sun. He died alone in the dark, consumed by the power of the box. Soon after, disease severely wiped out the population of Paititi taking Sinchichika and knowledge of the path of the clues that led to the silver box with it. Back to Ken and it's all over. and Lara Croft was last seen in the church. Find them! They just left her alone in the church. It was chaos in there. Obviously. But this is Croft. There was something more important to worry about. Shit! <laughs> All right. Now we're trying to keep the enemy in. <clears throat> Where is he? Sir, sorry, sir. That's not good enough. Her friend has the box. Flush her out. Yes. 
something's out there. Your head down. I'm on my way. Canefield, all units. Priority one. Find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. I should have killed you in Siberia, but Dominguez was against it. That's on me. But I'm going to fix that mistake. Now. She's got to die. It has to happen. Hey. Where are you? Oh, I don't like this. Hey. Did you know they're still rumming some of these barrels? For Christ's sake, Morgan, do your job.
in a chopper. I've got a pilot. What? Hurry! Engine stall at one. 